what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel let's solve this math question that said find the value of n for which 2 times the square root of n plus the square root of n is equal to 2. well our first step will be for us to move the square root of n to the right hand side so that we have 2 root n to be equal to, I've already got 2 here, and as the square root of n crosses to the right, becomes minus the square root of n. Very good. Now, our next step will be for us to square both sides. So, I'll square the left hand side, I'll also square the right hand side. So, 2 minus the square root of n all squared very good now the right hand side is of the form a minus b all squared and this is expanded as a squared minus 2ab plus b squared and then when you compare you see that a is 2 and then b is the square root of n now let's expand the left hand side this square affects the 2 so it is 2 squared times this squared also affects the square root of n so the square root of n squared very good and this is equal to now expanding this just like this we have 2 squared minus 2 times a, a is 2 times b, b is the square root of n and then plus b squared which is the square root of n squared. Very good. Now 2 squared is 4 times square cancels out square root so leaving behind n to be equal to 2 squared is 4 minus 2 times 2 times the square root of n is 4 root n and then plus square cancel square root leave it behind n very good now our next step will be for us to move everything to the left hand side so we have 4n and as n crosses to the left it becomes minus n and this as 4 crosses to the left it becomes minus 4 and as negative 4 root n crosses to the left it becomes plus 4 root n very good and this is equal to 0 so now let's simplify 4n minus n is 3n this is minus 4 plus 4 root n equal to 0. Very good. Now our next step will be for us to get rid of this square root. And in order to do that, I'm going to be moving 3n and minus 4 to the right hand side. So I have 4 root n on the left to be equal to, as negative 4 crosses to the right, it becomes positive 4. And as 3n crosses to the right, it becomes minus 3n. Very good. And now to get rid of this square root, I take the square of both sides. So I'll take the square of 4 root n. And I'll also take the square of the right hand side. So this is 4 minus 3n all squared. Very good. Now expanding we have 4 squared times the square root of n squared very good this is equal to now expanding this just as we did before 4 represent a and 3n represent b so this is a squared that is 4 squared minus 2 times a a is 4 times b b is 3n very good and then plus b squared which is 
3 and squared. So notice the first squared is 16. Now the square cancels out square root, leave it behind n to be equal to 4 squared is 16 minus 2 times 4 times 3 is 24. Okay, this is 2 times 4 times 3n, that's 24n. And then plus, this is 3 squared, which is 9, and then n squared. Very good. Very good. So we have something that looks like a quadratic equation, but we're going to be moving everything to one side. I'll be moving 16n to the right hand side so that we have 0 remaining on the left to be equal to this is 16, this is minus 24n. Since 16n is a like terms to this, so I'm going to be moving this so that it becomes negative 16n and then write plus 9n squared. Very good. So this becomes 0 equal to 16 minus 24n minus 16n is minus 40n and then plus 9n squared. Very good. Well, this expression can also be written as since the left hand side is equal to the right hand side, that means we can flip their positions to be 9n squared minus 40n so minus 40n and then plus 16 is equal to zero very good now we're going to be using the quadratic formula to solve this and in order to do that we need to know what a is so a is a coefficient of n squared and that's nine and b is a coefficient of n and that's negative 40 and c is a constant term which is 16. And since we're looking for n using the quadratic formula n will be equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So now let's substitute so n would then be negative b and what is b? b is negative 40 so negative 40 plus or minus the square root of b squared, that's negative 40 squared minus 4 times a times c. So 4 times a, what is a? a is 9 times c, c is 16. Very good. All over the denominator 2 times a, so 2 times a, what is a? A is 9. Very good. And now simplifying further, n will be negative times negative is positive. So this will be 40 plus or minus the square root of negative 40 squared is 1600 minus 4 times 9 times 16 is 5, 7, 6. Very good. All over 2 times 9 is 18. So now simplifying we have n to be 40 plus or minus the square root of 1600 minus 576 is 1024. Very good. All over 18. And now the square root of 1024 is 32. So n will be 40 plus or minus the square root of 1024 that's 32 and all over the denominator 18 very good and now let's separate so the value of n will be 40 now let's go with a plus first plus 32 all over 18 or the value of n will be 40 now go with the minus, minus 32, all over 18. Very good. Now watch, 40 plus 32, that's 72, all over 18. And if we have to divide, 72 divided by 18 is 4. 
very good and now what about this 40 minus 32 i'm going to have it all over 18. very good and now we can break this down two can go two eight divided by two that's four and 18 divided by two is nine so we have four all over nine now we're going to be checking our answers now let's check we're going to start with the first one when n is equal to four now let's see if the left hand side will be equal to the right hand side which is two so i'm going to choose the left hand side so let's choose the left hand side so whatever i see n i'm going to be putting four so this is two times the square root of n is four plus the square root of n is four very good so this is come two times the square root of four is two plus the square root of four is two so this is two times two is four plus two which will result to six this is not equal to the right hand side which is two so we're going to be rejecting this answer now let's check for when n when n is equal to 4 over 9 so this will be 2 times the square root of 4 over 9 plus the square root of 4 over 9 i'm choosing the left hand side actually so this will be 2 times now the square root of 4 is 2 all over the square root of 9 is 3 plus the square root of 4 is 2 all over the square root of 9 is 3 so this will be 2 times 2 this will result to 4 all over the denominator 3 plus 2 over 3 so plus 2 over 3 now since we have both denominators to be 3 so that means our LCM is 3 and we can just add the numerator so 4 plus 2 is 6 and now 6 divided by 3 is 2 which is equal to the right hand side so our acceptable answer is n equal to 4 over 9 and this is correct now let me show you a second method well this method is usually very short and easy so we can just add these two since they are like terms 2 root n plus root n gives 3 root n and this is equal to 2 so let me just call this method 2 method 2 very good and now since we're looking for n we can divide both sides divide both sides by 3 which is the coefficient of the square root of n so let's divide both sides by 3 so this is 3 root n divide by 3 this is equal to 2 divided by 3 now notice that 3 cancels out 3 leaving behind the square root of n to be equal to 2 over 3 very good now to get rid of this square root i'm going to take the square of both sides so i'll take the square of the left i'll also take the square of the right now notice that this square cancels out the square root leaving behind n to be equal to now from here from indices this square affects the numerator and the denominator so that means this expression can also be written as 2 squared all over 3 squared which will result to a final solution of 2 squared is 4 all over 3 squared is 9 which is a valid solution well feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like i always say until next time take care